Joe, the report is 267 pages, but from what you have been able to see so far, what has your reaction been? You know, not stunned. A lot of the things that are in the report, Lindsay, are things that we heard. Certainly nobody is spared in this report. It is a scathing, lengthy report in which it, the finger is essentially pointed at everyone, from the Board of Trustees to the former president to former administrators to the former athletic director and, of course, to former uh, Penn State head coach Joe Paterno. Some of the things that jumped out to me, uh, Free said in his report that Paterno and others showed, quote, callous and shocking disregard for child victims. And as far as why Free believed Penn State concealed things that should have been uh, made known to the authorities, it was his conclusion that critical facts were concealed, quote, in order to avoid the consequences of bad publicity. So, you know, this the, all he, Free also states that there are violations of federal law in terms of re their requirements. Certainly there are tons of ramifications and uh, possible additional fallout from this situation, uh, including, you know, the potential for further civil litigation. Sure. Um, you know, but listen, Penn State's Board of Trustees ordered this report, an independent review. They wanted to find out as much as they could about why this wasn't stopped earlier and why people who free felt could have and should have taken action didn't earlier. And so this is the first time that any sort of cover-up is really written down in report. How do you think that impacts the university as well as the athletic program? Again, we, we obviously know that it could uh, play a part in litigation. Uh, obviously, the perception and reputation uh, of, of those individuals involved as well as the university uh, are at stake. In regards to uh, Free's conclusions further, he said that the key findings were in emails between 1998 and 2001 and that uh, it is in fact true as previously reported that the university in Free's conclusion changed their course of action to report this to the authorities after a conversation with Joe Paterno. Now, of course, Joe Paterno was not here to address exactly what was said in that conversation. We do know, Lindsay, that Joe Paterno has said prior to his death that he wished he had done more. Uh, certainly, he has conceded and acknowledged that he has some regrets. But, of course, he also recently has noted that he did not believe that this is a football scandal, that this was a football issue, that this was an issue related to Jerry Sandusky. One of the things that Free did conclude in his report, also interesting, that there was a culture of reverence for the football program. Look, we all knew that Joe Paterno was not only the face of Penn State football, but the biggest player. And, of course, Lindsay, that's why many will say, uh, yes, Joe Paterno did what he was required by law, uh, perhaps he did not cons commit NCAA violations. Uh, but, of course, if he was the most influential individual on campus, shouldn't he as much or more than anyone else have done more? So tell me now about Bill O'Brien and about how this Penn State program now moves on and, as you touched on it, if the NCAA will take any action. It's a great challenge. Bill O'Brien understood what he signed up for. Uh, he's done a, a decent job with recruiting. The university has done a decent job with fundraising despite all the negative swirling controversy. I visited with O'Brien uh, in the spring and he said, look, I have no regrets. I haven't gotten a ton of questions from recruits, but we're honest with them when they ask in terms of the steps that we've taken, in terms of the reality that nobody on this staff was in any way connected uh, to the criminal activities of the past. Uh, Bill O'Brien also noting that, uh, you know, look, he has two rules for his players. The first is show up on time, and the second is don't ever, ever under any circumstance lie to me. So, you know, obviously his thrust is, you know, honesty, run in a program of integrity, uh, you know, and so uh, as far as the NCAA, the NCAA did uh, release to me uh, a new statement this morning following uh, the release of this report saying that they now expect Penn State, uh, presumably in a timely manner, to respond to an inquiry for specific questions related to whether or not uh, Penn State uh, had a lack of institutional control or unethical conduct. Uh, and those are questions that Penn State had asked for a delay on. They wanted the free report, report to come out. Of course, uh, there are potential trials here for the previous athletic director and another administrator that the NCAA might want to wait on to gather that information before they make their ultimate conclusion as to whether or not this is a case that is in any way related to possible NCAA sanctions. But Penn State is back again on the clock. They want specific answers to Emmert's questions.